Welcome. You are going to hit the ground running and you're going to be thrown into the deep end. And our job is to help you have the softest landing possible. Congratulations. You have joined a wonderful agency, but you've worked through an incredibly competitive process to get here. So you're the top of the field and we're glad to have you. Hang on for the ride. It's, it's really fun, very stimulating, very fast moving. It's a place that you can excel and have fun at the same time. GHFP is a tool that USAID uses to amplify the quality and the reach of its technical assistance. It's about making a difference in global health, and we help them do that. Sometimes people ask me if we're just a staffing mechanism, and I don't want to denigrate what it takes to be a great staffing mechanism, but we recruit very specialized scopes of work, and it requires having a lot of different uh, access to technical talent that isn't typical. Our work in diversity really is the cornerstone and backbone of our program. USAID and the Public Health Institute really focus on ensuring that our global health workforce mirrors the American diversity. The Global Health Fellows Program is led by the Public Health Institute. Our mandate is to enrich the global health workforce for USAID with the cream of the crop of global health professionals. We do this in collaboration with dynamic partners including Pixera Global, Globe Med, Management Systems International, Faces for the Future, and the Global Health Corps. USAID obviously in the US is the main funder of global health work. So I think being a global health fellow gives you a really unique perspective on how funding decisions are made, how USAID is actually ultimately responsible to Congress and to American taxpayers, and there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes. It's a great program because the person gets to be on the donor site, which is a great uh, way to look at how some of these programs work. Um, a lot of them come from the implementing partner side, but seeing how the money flows and what the donor side looks like is actually a great experience. USID international development role is really valued around the world, so serving in this position really gives you a great perspective where you can meet and see how the development investments are being leveraged across the world to really make impacts in the lives of many people. USAID is one of the most vital and long-time donors in the global health field and um, it is a great asset for me and I'm sure for many other fellows that we have really close deep knowledge about agencies' operation and the priorities and strategies and so on. So I think we're really lucky to have the GHFP program. It brings in um, people with a range of expertise, many of them fairly young people, uh, which is a nice compliment to the direct hire staff of the agency who tend to be older. I think it's a way that we have gotten up-to-date experience uh, and lots of different views. So there are new perspectives and new approaches and an energy that fellows bring to the program. The first two days of orientation, they send you out to the Public Health Institute's headquarters in Oakland, California, and you just spend an entire 48 hours getting to know the various types of support that GHFP can offer you and that the Public Health Institute can offer you. It seems like a priority that you get to meet with all of the important people on the staff here so that they really let you know how important you are. For me as a very sort of process-oriented person, I really like to know the rules and what services there are and the Fellows Program really walks you through page by page. Here's how you do travel, here's how you submit your expenses, here's the professional development support we have for you. It was just really nice to be sort of taken through step by step and really make sure that I understood 
what all the benefits that the Fellows Program had and how I could access them. I really think it's a great opportunity, so I always encourage my fellow public health workers, you know, that this is a, a great place to work. I feel that I've been able to accomplish m most of the goals, trying to be a champion for integration of family planning and productive health into the non health sector. We pay special attention to your support uh, and your growth as a professional during these two to four years that helps you improve and increase your performance and that serves USAID. There's so many opportunities for personal growth. We have a budget just for coaching, you know, we can we can have personal coaching. We have a couple of free sessions, which I'd never even heard of before. Beyond that, there's personal development funds that you can do whatever you want to to help enrich yourself. It just is such an opportunity that you never have. And wherever you ever had a job where somebody's like, here's some funds for you to go develop yourself professionally, it just doesn't happen. I think it's a real attraction when you're hiring someone in. And I think they do use it and use it productively. But I think what they find once they get there is that the whole place is a learning environment. So the funds are just a cherry on the top. We try to help fellows have sort of the full USAID experience. So work both in the Office of Population here in Washington and get out to the field to support a mission. We encourage people to be part of country teams and really learn in depth what a country is about and that can be anything from being part of a project management team and going out and doing site visits to the project work to working with a mission on preparation of an annual report. As a fellow I've been able to travel to I think I counted five or six different countries and spend quite a bit of time, you know, two or three weeks, four weeks at one point um, in country in that embassy environment and I've just never felt as much in my element uh, than I have when I've been working in the embassy and then going out visiting our projects in the field. My advice to new fellows, um, first of all, Enjoy your time at USAID. My second advice is do try to use all the um, resources from the program. There's a lot of emphasis on multitasking. Prompt response is really appreciated because your colleagues in Africa or Asia are waiting for your response. And for many of them, you know, when you go to bed at night, they're waking up the next morning and they'll look for feedback from you on your technical guidance. If you need time to think strategically, you have to carve that time out of your day because there are a lot of meetings. You can get pulled into a lot of meetings and meetings are the way that things happen and the ball gets rolling. It's always a learning experience, of course, so many acronyms and new people that you need to meet. A year into my fellowship, I feel that I'm still learning a lot, so you need to be open-minded to really appreciate the fact that you have so much to learn within a very short time period. It made such a huge difference in my life in bringing me to DC and allowing me to work in international global health and I don't I'm not sure that I could have broken into it in the way that I did had I not been a fellow and I do feel like I've been very successful at USAID and that was my foot in the door. The global health community, the family planning community, is a pretty small community in the scheme of things. These are people you're going to see again over and over in your career if it's a field you choose to stay in, so the relationships you can make can be really important ones to the future. And I think it pays to have those be strong relationships and build bridges that you're able to cross over later in your career. Keep really open mind explore all the possibilities that there are around you because it's a really, really rich learning experience. So take it for that. Uh, it's so unique, you're not gonna find another hiring mechanism in the U.S. government, anything like the fellows. So it's uh, sometimes too good to be true, but it's true. This program is really a laboratory for bringing out the best in each of us 
as we go about our complex professional lives. I see it as a piece of the work that USAID does to build the next cadre of global health professionals. And I think that's a really important contribution that USAID makes to the field of global health in general.